Hey guys and welcome back Frantic Flames here and today I've got something a bit different for you guys. Now for the audio and uh, the quality of the picture is not the best at the moment is because I am actually away. I'm recording this on my laptop. I've got a portable desktop microphone with me. So if all the uh, if it's not like the usual sort of stuff, sorry about that guys, but I am recording whilst I'm away and I thought I'd bring you guys something a bit different today and I know that a lot of people are having trouble downloading Alie's um, Quest Minecraft Quest. Um, because obviously the video tutorial on how to download it is in Spanish and I know like all of the people that watch Alie obviously don't speak Spanish. So let's get straight into this one. So first you want to click the link in the description below which will take you to a page like this. Um, basically what it will take you to is um, a page with like a stupid advertisement on and up here there should be like a skip in five seconds. Just wait for that, click it and it should bring you to this page. Obviously you want to click download to your computer. So let's just quickly do that now. I'm going to cut the video and I'll see you guys when it's downloaded. Alright guys, so once you've got the launcher downloaded, you want to actually go to the start menu or on Windows 8, you want to just press the uh, little bottom left of the screen and uh, right click. Then you want to type in percent app data percent. I'm sure most of you guys know that. Then you want to hit enter and it should bring you up to a screen like this. Now yours won't look exactly the same, but you should definitely have the .minecraft folder right here. What you want to do is bring the .minecraft folder out to your desktop. What this will basically do is create the save file of the uh, launcher onto your percent app data instead of like any random place. So this will just tighten things up. Don't worry guys, you don't really need to know what's going on. Keep this in a safe place because this has got all your Minecraft saves and stuff like that. That is basically your vanilla Minecraft and what you'll be using uh, if you want to play normal Minecraft. Also guys, if you're wondering how to get back to the original vanilla like server or like launcher, obviously this one here, what you're going to need to do is go to percent app data once again and go to dot minecraft. Now this is the actual uh, launcher for Alias Quest, all of these save files. So you just want to basically swap this one for that one and uh, you can play the original Minecraft again. So you just drag that one out and put that back one back in and that will be your vanilla Minecraft and then you can just run Minecraft normally and it should be okay but I'm just going to put the Alias one back in to continue this tutorial. Next you want to open up the launcher of Alias Quest so let's quickly do that and wait for everything to uh, run so basically what you want to do after that is leave everything as it is just hit the installer button And it should do all of its stuff. It'll take a second of course everything's in Spanish because the guy who made this is Spanish and um, It should uh, come up with this screen of course you can't read what that is, but you just want to hit ok once you've done that, it will bring you to this screen. Um, you want to hit premium. Of course, you can only do this, guys, if you've got a premium paid Minecraft account. Um, if you don't, I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe you want to search up a different video. But anyway, let's go on to premium. So that should do its thing. It should download. It's going to take a long time for the mods to download, guys, depending on how good your um, computer is. So I'm going to cut now to the next bit. I'll catch you guys in a minute. Of course, you want to... Um, input your Minecraft username and password. Once you've done that, hit uh, hit login, hit play, and it should download. And I'll see you guys once it's done all of that. All right, guys. So now, once you're at this screen, some weird music should play and stuff like that. I've actually muted that. But we're on this screen now. You just want to hit single player. You can also do all your options here. I've turned like literally all of mine off, so I've turned my shaders off because this. A uh, laptop is pretty bad for running uh, any game pretty much, especially Minecraft. Now you can create a new world, call it whatever you want. Hit the create new world, just check that it's working okay. Now some of the buttons are a bit different on this mode. I haven't actually uh, figured out how to sprint yet. I know it's double... W on um, on the normal Minecraft vanilla, but if you guys uh, figure out how to do that, how to sprint, uh, that would be really awesome if you could just leave it in the comments below. Also, if you have any other further questions, make sure you let me know and I'll try and help you guys out as much as possible. But now we're on the world, it'll probably be like super, super laggy, like 1 FPS as you can see guys. Um, of course, this laptop's pretty bad, but my desktop back home is a lot better. You can also add... Um, 
You can also add like resource packs, which I'll probably be doing another video on that. If you guys want me to uh, let you know how to add resource packs, then uh, definitely let me know in the um, description below, the comments below, sorry guys. So you can see we've got all the mods, we've got the elephant, more creatures mod on. And it's a pretty sick mod pack. Um, if you press E, you've got your uh, too many items mod here, which is really, really cool. If you have any further questions, again guys, make sure you leave them in the dis uh, comments below, sorry. Um, I'll pretty much see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because this video took me a long time to uh, edit and stuff like that. Hope this really helps. Again, if you have any further questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye and thank you.